We just came back from the Hard Rock Hotel in Punta Cana and this is a full video tour of this all-inclusive resort so you know exactly what to expect. Hello Travel Box! We know many of you have been waiting for this resort tour so let's get right into it. The Hard Rock Punta Cana is a massive resort with 12 pools scattered across the property. Two are for members only, the Sun Pool and the Isla Pool. Both are near the beach on the lower left corner of the property. Non-member guests have access to eight pools, one of them being for kids and another, the Sax Pool, for adults only. This pool is marked on the resort map as being for deluxe members but was open to all guests during our stay. It might have something to do with the fact that the Eden pool was closed for renovations. The guitar pool and the drums pool have the same layout and design. Both have wet bars and drums has a volleyball net. Moon pool has a half moon shape and is also by the beach. As you can see, some pools have a blue tile design, while others have a more modern white design. We believe they're remodeling the pools in stages to the more modern design. Two pools are located in the central beach area. Eclipse Pool is the larger of the two and the largest in the resort, and Central Pool is divided into two halves by a dry bar. Eclipse Pool and the lower half of the Central Pool are the most active, and a DJ plays light music during the day. Like Sax Pool, Bongo's Pool is vertically in the middle of the property. Finally, there is a pool with the modern white design and a soft drinks wet bar in the hotel's water park. The beach of the Hard Rock Punta Cana is stunningly beautiful. The sand part is extensive, so the seating areas have plenty of breathing space. The lounge chairs were in good condition and there were plenty. Like the resort, the beach section of the Hard Rock is vast, with different beach areas for various membership levels. The water is gorgeous, and to be honest, the footage doesn't show just how electric its blue color is. It is rougher than in other areas of Punta Cana. When it comes to drinks, the Hard Rock Punta Cana has you covered. There are many bars throughout the property. Every pool has a bar you can order drinks from. Some have dry and wet sides, while others only have a dry side. In addition to the pool bars, there are three bars in the main building, the moon lounge, the bowling bar, and a bar inside the casino. There is also a picturesque truck that serves cocktails by the beach. At night, there are pop-up bars throughout the main building. You'll also find a bar in the theater during the night shows. The culinary offer at the Hard Rock Hotel is varied. The main buffet restaurant is the market, where you can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You'll also find a breakfast buffet every morning at four specialty restaurants, Chao, Bistro Med, Ipanema, and Los Gallos. The breakfast buffet is pretty much the same in all four. However, their menu becomes unique for lunch and dinner. Chao is an Italian restaurant and opens for lunch and dinner. Chao Trattoria serves Italian and Mediterranean food and is also open for lunch and dinner. Bistro Med serves Mediterranean and Lebanese food and opens for lunch and dinner. Ipanema is a buffet restaurant during lunch with similar food to the market. It becomes a Brazilian rodizio for dinner. At night, five more restaurants enter the roster. Sen is a teppanyaki eatery which, along with Toro, the steakhouse, are the only two restaurants that require a reservation. Los Gallos serves Mexican food and is one of the most popular restaurants in the resort. Finally, Montserrat Manor and Yuyu are not included in the hotel fare. For a more laid-back food experience, Stacked and the Split are two excellent options. Stacked is a burger joint, and the Split is a submarine sandwich shop. 
All the restaurants are in the main building except Ipanema and Isla, which is closed for renovations. Remember, you can book any of the resorts we review through the links in the description of any of our videos. We earn a small commission which helps us grow our channel and doesn't cost you anything extra. You may also find finger food for snacking at many snack bars. Almost every pool has a snack bar that serves nachos, fried chicken and french fries. Snack food trucks also serve burgers, cheese fries and more. To satisfy your sweet tooth, you may also visit the ice cream shop, which offers a variety of flavors like caramel, dulce de leche and a variety of ice pops. Must Coffee Shop, near the ice cream shop, has savory and sweet options like pecan pie, macaroons and cookies. It is the place to go for coffee. The rooms at Hard Rock have been recently renovated and the room we stayed in became Iris' favorite of the Punta Cana resorts we visited and my second favorite behind the Margaritaville Cap Cana. We paid $250 per person per night for a Caribbean suite double, the cheapest room type. The room is divided into four areas, bedroom, living room, bathroom and balcony. You'll find the bathroom to your left as you enter the room. A door separates the bathroom area from the rest of the room. There are double vanities and mirrors. The area is well illuminated and tastefully decorated. There were plenty of towels and toiletries. The shower is enormous, with a rain shower head and a handheld one. There is a retractable clothing line that we use to hang our towels while taking a shower. A glass door separates the toilet area from the rest of the bathroom. The door has a sizable gap, but this is a non-issue since the bathroom has a door that isolates it from the bedroom. When you exit the bathroom, you'll find the closet. There is plenty of storage space inside and an umbrella, an iron, an ironing board, a luggage rack and a safe. We miss the bathrobes and slippers usually provided in hotels at this price point. Next to the closet, there's a cabinet with an espresso coffee maker and a coffee station on top, and a mini bar inside. The mini bar consisted of four bottles of water, four cans of Presidente beer, and four bottles of soda. Next to the coffee station and minibar is a small table with two chairs and a big TV on top that you can see from the bed. If you turn around, you'll see the bed. We had a king size bed with four pillows of two different dimensions. At each side of the bed, there's a night table, power outlets with USB ports and a leather bench at the foot of the bed. Going down a couple of steps, you'll reach the living room. This area had a sofa, a small table, a side table, and an accent chair illuminated by natural light from the balcony. The balcony had a good size with two chairs and a small table. It also had a chic hot tub. This was the view from room 8148 located on the first floor of building 8A. When it comes to amenities, big resorts have many and the Hard Rock Punta Cana is no exception. Some amenities are not included in the hotel fare and you need to pay extra for, like the arcade, 4D virtual reality, bowling, escape room games, the Flowrider surf machine, laser tag, and the spa. Other amenities are free to use, like beach volleyball, basketball, an ample gym, a lazy river, mini golf, ping pong tables, pool tables, pickleball, and a music lab where you can record your own music, but it was closed during our stay. You can also enjoy Auto Nightclub, which opens on Fridays and Saturdays, the largest casino we've seen in Punta Cana, and an on-site water park which is a lot of fun. The water park has several rides from medium to extreme and a section for younger kids. The Hard Rock Punta Cana has a very active weekly entertainment schedule. We encounter beach volleyball games, pool volleyball, DJ music, and dart games during our stay. 
At night, all activity moves to the main building and the theater. After dinner, the more active places are Moon Lounge, where karaoke nights are a big hit, along with silent disco parties. Eclipse Terrace has activities like parties, live music, and live DJs. The night show takes place in the theater. During our stay, we caught two shows, a live rock band that played rock hits and a retro show with music from the 70s accompanied by dance performances. The Hard Rock Punta Cana is an immense hotel. It's the biggest resort in the Dominican Republic and its size could be an issue for people with mobility issues. There are trains that take you around the property and we found them reliable. However, come prepared to walk a lot. You may also rent golf carts during your stay. The hotel is massive, both horizontally and vertically. The grounds are very well kept and the buildings well maintained. The vegetation is not as lush and tropical as other Punta Cana resorts. It's more like a well-kept garden. Now click on this video for our very honest review of the Hard Rock Punta Cana Hotel and Casino.